Hey guys, we got some breaking news in PUBG. Patch 7.2 just hit the test servers. Now we got bots, we've got ranked, we've got weapon balance changes, other fixes. So let's check it out. All right, we got a lot of stuff to go through. So 7.2 is on the test server. If it's on the test server, that means that it's going to come to the live server in about a week or two, typically. That's the time span we're looking at. Weapon balance changes, new ways to play with fire. We'll see what that means later. It's not important at all. And the long awaited rank mode. With rank mode, we can test our skills and get rewards. This update brings bots to PC servers, which were the only servers, uh, the only version of the game that didn't have bots yet. Now we're all curious how good the bots are gonna be. And I'm gonna try the game out, and today on stream as well, I'll be testing the test server. And see if the bots are any good, and how many bots you get in a game. Oh, rest assured, we plan on making improvements to how bots currently work. And most importantly, bots will not be in ranked mode games. So bots are only gonna be available, um, ruining your games only in normal mode. Because there's gonna be a separate queue now. You're gonna have your normal queue that you had up until now and then a ranked mode and ranked we'll see what uh, sub modes you have within ranked now let's go and check out this video season 7 is in full swing but the updates don't stop with the revamp for Kendi. update 7.2 brings new balance changes the long awaited rank mode and a new way to make some lit plays with jerry can improvements we're also adding AI to the game with this update but as stated before the they're really trying hard to make uh, this viable because people figured out that it, they're totally useless trying to blow them up. Okay. Before there will be no bots in ranked mode. Let's get right into it. One of the most highly requested community features has been a proper ranked mode. So we're excited to launch our ranked season beta with update 7.2. Ranked mode replaces the oh, hey. survival titles. What are these ranks? 7. So, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master. Okay. Is there anything above? I would love to see some kind of grandmaster. Point two. Ranked mode replaces the previous survival title system and works a bit differently. First of all, you'll still go through a series of placement matches when you start. But after that, your rank will rise and fall depending on your game performance. You'll also have to enter a special ranked queue in order to get credit for your game. You can find the ranked option under the play section of the main menu. Ranked matches will be available in both FPP and TPP squads. And this is the problem, guys. Only squads, and it has TPP. Now, I don't understand why it has TPP. TPP is considered the casual mode. People that still play TPP, they don't really care about a rank mode in this game. I'm pretty sure that no one that plays TPP really cares about it. And if they do care about it, They've started playing FPP a long time ago, or they play both modes. So they know that FPP is the more competitive mode from an objective point of view. I think this is a big mistake. Now, if you look at Twitter, uh, what I've tweeted was instead of having ranked squad TPP, introduce ranked solo FPP because what are solo players going to play now? What, only with bots? Can I have a no bot game but still play solo? No, I'm asking too much. I don't think we're asking too much. Uh, let's check out someone else who also tweeted. So Wacky said, lots of interesting things in uh, 7.2, but it felt weird reading for me, knowing that I'll no longer be able to play solos without bots. I've been looking forward to skill-based leaderboards for uh, one and a half years, but the rank mode is squad only. And then he says, I realize a lot of people enjoy squads, but I don't. So for me, this could be the end of my PUBG journey. Imagine Wacky saying that just because they're they're not introducing a rank mode for solos. It doesn't sound like much, but if you look at it, there, there's nothing for a solo player, a little bit more competitive solo player to play anymore. If, if there's a, just 30, 50, 80 bots in your normal solo games. So for me, this could be the end of my PUBG journey. Yeah, that's pretty rough. It could be the same for me. Hopefully, they uh, they change it. Unless, of course, it's super fun to shoot bots, but we'll see. But definitely feel weird about this. Yeah. And by the way, take a look at this funny tweet. So, uh, McClutch is a 
community manager and community coordinator for PUBG, and he tweeted uh, this and said, uh, added ranked leaderboards, rewards, removed the red zone. <laughs> There's some guy who <laughs> commented performance improvement. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a lot of issues lately. There's so many people having performance issues. I hope that this patch helps a little bit, but a lot of people are just leaving because of that. They, they don't bother anymore. All right, let's go back to the patch. Now, it says that the survivor mastery level requirement is going to be lowered to level one. What is the level requirement going to be on the live servers? And the bots will be available from May 14th or technically 15th. So stay tuned for more videos of bots coming in later this week. Ah, transition from survival title to rank. So the survival title was an absolute abomination of a fake rank system. And thank God it's being removed. It's not important. It's just gone. That's great. Now you're going to be able to queue uh, for ranked. It's going to be 64 players. It'll have no bots. You can even queue as one man, two man, three man squad. Now, I guess you get matched with other people. We're going to check that out too. You won't be able to queue up together if your ranks are too far apart, like in other games. A minimal level of survival mastery. So that's the, the separate system of like achievements that you have going on. You may need to verify your account using SMS. All right, it's uh, kind of similar to what they have in CSGO, I think. Some uh, matchmaking penalties for people that are dodging games. Now the rule set, this has been a big point of contention lately. It's going to be Erangel, Miramar, and Sanok randomly. So it's going to be random map, those three maps for ranked. I, I'm not sure about Sanok, but I guess they need three maps. They want three maps at least. It's going to be based off of super settings. Uh, overall increase in loot spawns, no crossbows, red zone removed. Yes, good job. They initially said they were going to keep the red zone, which made a lot of people pretty angry. Um, gliders been removed. They're really, they're not competitive. Let's see. It kind of kills the competitiveness when people are just flying around doing nothing. Uh, the timing and speed of blue zone has been adjusted to increase the pace of play. Now they say they're going to adjust it, but we would really like to see some numbers here. As with every other PUBG patch, we want to see some numbers so we can have an opinion. So we can, so we know what to expect right now. I don't know. It's going to be posted. Okay. It's going to be posted, but please just a little bit more exact. So we saw that there's six tiers. Uh, the top tier is master. There's going to be some kind of 500 top 500. You get rank points. There's uh, five placement matches, like in other games. So uh, how are your points adjusted after every game? Uh, they take into account kills, assists, and a personal placement. Personal placement, not your squad's placement. So you can instantly leave after you die. Now, I'm not a big fan of this because it undermines people that are entry fraggers, in my opinion. The people that sacrifice themselves uh, so the team can have a better chance. Now in other games, this would never be the case. In PUBG, they're thinking, okay, um, you can do that a few times, but then a few times you're the last one remaining. So it kind of balances out after 50, 100 games, possibly. But I think if four people play together and they only play with each other in ranked, then you're going to see some people go in front even though they may not deserve to be like higher ranked than their teammates uh they they will go up because they're playing some role where they survive longer so again i'm not sure that this is good but time will tell there's also decay if you don't play for a week i think that's fair is a week too much or too little i don't know we'll see there are rewards for Every season when you're placing high in ranked, you get some kind of emblem and nameplate. Ooh, actual leaderboards. Come on. Is this for real? Now that's nice. So it's going to show what top 500 players per server per server. What does it say server? 
how do we know which server we're playing on? Is there a separate MMRs? Okay, the leaderboard you see is for the region you've played the most ranked matches in. Once a player enters the leaderboard, their region will be fixed for the rest of the season. But can I view other servers? I would really love to see in game, like who's rank one in NA, for example. Because from this screenshot, it looks like you cannot really change the region. It says NA, but maybe you can you can get the slider down here and change the region. Hopefully that's how it works. Okay, so bots. They're adding bots to normal matches. Ranked doesn't have any bots, but normal matches is gonna have a varying amount of bots depending on, I don't know, circumstances on the servers. Because what they wanna do is when you click play in normal mode, then you get the match within a minute or two. Now sometimes not gonna be that many players, so they're gonna put a lot more bots in. So be careful when you're playing late at night. Bot actions are limited, so they don't do everything. So they don't lean, jump, ledge grab, and use throwables at the moment. So if you see someone leaning, jumping, ledge grabbing, that's a player. Now killing bots goes towards your uh, missions and mastery, achievements, yada yada. You can spectate bots and watch a death cam, but it, it's gonna be a little bit weird. So they're not cheating, they're bots, all right? Now there's a dev letter that you can read if you want to know more about bots and how they work because it seems like they're putting the same bots they're using on console if they're using the same dev letter. All right, some balance changes to weapons and armor. Now they've noticed that the M4-16 AKM4 has been the most popular weapon and for a good reason. Now if you look at this chart, this is from close range to long range. How many kills have been done with each weapon? And M4 is pretty dominant in short range, decent performance mid range, and then on long range outperforms every other AR including M16, which is weird because they try to make M16 the long range weapon. Now they're addressing this by increasing reload times of the M4, M16, and SCAR. So what they did to the M4 is decrease the base damage by one, muzzle velocity by 100 meters per second. Now that's pretty big if you ask me. That's, you're gonna feel this, definitely. And the damage curve has been adjusted. So you do less damage on long distance now with the M4. Now in order to buff M16 and Mutant, which didn't get a lot of play, they decrease the recoil and fire in quick succession in semi-auto and burst. So technically they reduced the recoil and added tracers, shooter only. Okay, is that gonna help? I don't know. Barrel, muscle velocity increased. So you're gonna be able to shoot with it a little bit better on long range and decrease recoil. We have to test that one or maybe like wacky do it. Oh wow, the touching shotguns. <laughs> They're gonna stay useless again. So with this update, we have adjusted the shotgun group so they can be used more reliably throughout the match. This is what we've been asking for for such a long time. They were so unreliable. Sometimes you'll kill someone on 20 meters away. And sometimes you wouldn't kill them on five meters away because the, the bullet spread, the pallet spread was completely random and you couldn't control that. Now they've increased the uh, multipliers for limb and head. Now, if you aim for the head, you should do a lot, lot, lot more damage because it goes from 125 to 15, 1.5. Increase hip fire accuracy, decrease accuracy penalty during movement, decrease damage drop over distance for all shotguns. Now, this is pretty general, so we're going to have to test it in game. Saiga holds 10 rounds now. Suppressor adds a uh, pellet spread reduction. So two-thirds of a choke bonus now if you attach a suppressor. Because the suppressor on a Saiga was kind of useless, wasn't it? And so technically you have a choke on a Saiga. Saiga's been buffed a lot, it seems. All of this plus these, pretty good. Um, the pump has uh, increased speed of the pump action. So I guess you can shoot faster. And a sawed-off is trash and you shouldn't use it no matter how much they buff it. Armor. All right, so what they did to the vests, 
if your vest goes down to zero HP, uh, in the previous patches it will get destroyed. Now it's not destroyed, it says, I guess, zero HP. It gives you 20% protection and it still gives you the inventory bonus so you can carry more stuff. Not just that, but it gives you slight aim punch reduction as well. Uh, now the least important part of this patch, gas can improvements. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Apparently you're able to pour gas on the ground now and it takes seven seconds to empty the whole can. And the spill gas can be set on fire with gunshots, molotovs, and grenade explosion. Fire deals the same damage as a molotov but burns longer. So it burns for 20 seconds and those molotov damage. The problem is you can probably jump over it, right? Spill fuel evaporates in about three and a half minutes. Mm, pretty good for late game. Maybe this is something they can use in some scenarios. You can also throw the gas can, same way as melee weapons, which uh, cause it to release some fuel upon landing, making it easier to ignite and explode. We're going to have to test this. I'm not sure if this is going to be useful at all because this is a very slow mechanic. In PUBG, you want quick solutions in the late game. Definitely something to test out. Now, ah, I see a little problem here. Deals less initial damage. Maximum 40 damage with scales down with distance from the explosion. Now it says they're nearby area on fire like a Molotov dealing damage over time. So it doesn't do any damage now when it explodes. I think it was 70 before. Maybe that's the number. 70, 80. Uh, it didn't one shot before. Now you need three gas cans to explode at the same time to kill someone. But they do leave a residual fire in the area now if you're gonna catch or not we, we have to see that on, on the servers but this sounds like it's still not gonna be lethal hopefully it is because it's so hard to get anyone trapped in this all right so now some minor changes and improvements main menu navigation bar uh, well it has to change because we got ranked and other stuff some stuff is getting removed tire ui um Okay, now you're going to be able to tell exactly how uh, good your tires are doing on a car. You're going to have blinking orange and red. Seat UI. Wait, you can see enemy players if they're sitting in your car? Okay. Now the sound. Some people have been uh, complaining about new sounds, new footstep sounds. Specifically, Chaco has been uh, really, really annoyed by this issue. I've noticed it a little bit, but I haven't played that much. Hopefully they'll be able to fix this footstep issues because I don't see anything here. I think I saw something being discussed on Twitter that is going to be added soon, but we'll wait and see. They removed the blue zone humming sound when it's stationary. That's good because it was annoying and pointless. I don't know why they added it. No one asked for that. Uh, it's still going to be there when the wall is moving. Now, that's good for casuals, it warms them that something's coming in, although I don't think it's going to change a lot, but okay. Um, it's still annoying, I still think it shouldn't be there. We got some new skins coming in. At least they're not dinosaurs this time. And what I saw, he beats a tweet just earlier. He was asking uh, the community managers when trading is going to come back, because I think it's time for uh, trading to be uh, re-enabled in PUBG on Steam. I think that would be great. Let's see if they do that. And just a, a bunch of bug fixes. You can check them out here. As I said, I don't see anything in sound regarding the footstep noise. So yeah, that's about it. 7.2. They're going to be rolling out stuff in the next few days. I hope there's going to be enough players on the test server for us to uh, try out different things. I will be playing it on stream a little bit. Maybe uh, split the time between this and the main server. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a big one. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on new patch and maybe what your biggest issue is with the stuff that has been announced. And let me know what your thoughts are on the bots too. And whether you'll be playing normal mode or rank mode when it comes out. If you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in one of these two videos as well. Come join us on Twitch TV for some live daily action. If you're new to this YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.